All right, guys. Um, I had to jump onto this bit. I'm having issues with my other phone at the moment. It's just getting very complicated. But uh, anyways, I have to do it off this one. I, I really just want to put this album out there. Get some voice out there. Heavy was the fifth track. We tried to get into it. it the phone just shit the bed. Um, it's just simple battery life. It's not as strong as it used to be and it, it is my you know fault for not bringing a cable but thank god i do have this one it's a backup but the point is um with this album you go into invisible and after heavy goes into invisible where much you know it really shines with his vocals uh, he sounds very chesterish i mean it's obvious it's Presuming he hangs out with a lot of hip hop artists, he's not going to hear vocals like hanging out with these rock guys. I think they really kind of live split lifestyles in reality. I mean, I presume like you know it always shows with like hip hop guys and just really hangs out with rock guys. Well, so I don't know. I, I just see. Very much, Mike is really kind of copycatting, but um, Chester a little bit. But it's a good thing. He can really sing. I mean, we never really heard him sing. Maybe on the fourth album he did a little bit. Third album. <coughs> Point is. <coughs> <coughs> it breaks into the title track. Um, on track 11. Um, we get a little more. Mike Shinoda bounce uh, with the next couple tracks. I can't remember their name off the top of my head. I apologize. They're right in the internet if you really need to know. But anyways, within that, they soon um, develop the title track. And the title track, the first time I heard it, I just broke down. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I broke down tears. It's, it's so touching and... You know, if you've ever been in that type of situation where you lost somebody and you've lost continuous people, you, you can't do it anymore. You know what I'm saying? And just really, his vocals and the wording just really touches you, along with the beautiful, soft instrumentals, the quietness to it, of that song. And it really shines. It doesn't show like, hey, this is what the rest of the album's about. It seems like the rest of the album's about each song has a story within itself. And then, of course, the title track just envelopes it more. But the title track is like a story within itself. And then, of course, the ending track, by track 10, um, is another song that I would definitely have kids like 10 and up listen to because it really shares a good lesson. Uh, that could be one of those songs that... 50 years from now, kids look back and, yeah, my parents used to make me missionaries, or my grandma used to listen to this song and, you know, taught me a lesson not to play with sharp things, like poke the bear, don't do that, or you get hurt. And because Chester's like, yo, I used to smoke cigarettes, I used to live a dangerous life, I was out partying, drinking, I woke up like, what the fuck is going on? You know? Uh, with his dad, he gets drunk at a party and then finds out goes off into, um, wait, or I mean, wakes up in a car, like, for real, crazy, you know, and he talks further into his life as he got older with the drinking, the smoking cigarettes, he even mentions how hard it was upon his voice and his vocals and how he really can't scream anymore, he had surgery and such, and simple chorus of, don't play with sharp knives, don't be careful when you poke the bear. You're going to get hurt. You're going to face consequences. It's simple. Phenomenal track. And just don't put that Tundra track on the radio. Because my, you know, my roommate listens and has that damn radio top 40 playing all the time. And I do not want to hear that song ever. Really, it's hard to hear. Um, I tried listening with second and third time. And it, yeah, it got me. So, yeah. But... I would say the heavy is really not the track I'm not really feeling off the, the rest of the album. Uh, compared to the rest of the album, it's the only track I'll really give like a low number to, but it's got some six and sevens in there. 
and then there's like one nine or nine or ten you know some phenomenal tracks and it's a good album no was a shocker because i was hating on it for so long like just kind of joke along with the crow you know your buddies always oh, be heavy yeah i used to be a heavy lincoln park listener back, way back in the day i was huge into it and i remember playing this album hybrid theory and people were like oh that band sucks and then two months later they're all yo you ever hear lincoln park like wow i'm sorry to make that face but for real did I not bring this album to your house a couple times? Well, that's how it is. And this album needs to get shared to the world, to the fans. And this is a very good album, good change. This shows them in a different direction. They grew up, they have kids, they have lives. So guys, I want to give this a great 8 out of 10. Lincoln Park, thank you. And again, peace out. Later. Until next time, let's see when we come again. Oh, by the way, I've got some treats after at the drive-in. Um, I do want to do a little shout-out to uh, Civilian Kings, I believe, or Civil Kings. I name is kind of, you know, around there. Very Lincoln Parkish, by the way. Very pretty good band. I'm getting into you guys a little bit. Takes time, but I know my uh, buddy will love them. Um, but anyways, um, as for a little special treats I've gotten into is. The uh, Dragon Force album just came out maybe tomorrow, I believe. Really, really spectacular, phenomenal album. Uh, my, my buddy was really digging it. First time, just hearing those power chords and the complexity of the sound of the guitar. And it really shown. So that's another fucking session for another day, guys. But I do want to try to get on that someday if I can. I try to do this summer outdoorsy thing. It seems pretty cool, pretty chill, relaxed. Until uh, next time, peace.